Guten Tag, mein Freund. Ich heiße Vitit Manteborn. Ich bin von Thailand. Currently, I'm the UN Independent Expert on Protection Against Violence and Discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. And I'd like to thank you very, very warmly. Vielen Dank for the kind invitation to say a few words at your event. A very important event for everyone, not only in Germany, but globally. The work of the independent expert is to raise the profile of the need for action against violence and discrimination. And very sadly, violence and discrimination are pervasive globally. You can see in the news and learn from all kinds of sources the horrible things that take place against people in regard to sexual orientation and gender identity. Killings, torture, arbitrary detention, forced anal examinations, forced surgery, lashings, whippings, endless situations of a very reprehensible kind. So it is very important that the United Nations has this post, particularly to offer some protection, more protection against violence and discrimination on these grounds. The global situation remains serious on many fronts. However, because we are together in this struggle against violence and discrimination, there are encouraging signs in terms of advocating needed actions. The work of the independent expert offers, number one, analysis of the situation, particularly through two global reports a year. Number two, country visits with country reports to learn from country situations and to share those lessons. I just went to Argentina very recently on this. Thirdly, the independent expert also takes communications and sends letters of allegation or expresses concerns as regards violations or uh, alleged violations in situations and countries. And then fourthly, the work of the independent expert also promotes coordination and connection in terms of cooperation to protect people. In this regard, I would note six main areas in regard to needed actions worldwide. Number one, the need to decriminalize, decriminalize consensual same-sex relations and decriminalize particularly those um, legal measures which discriminate against gays, lesbians, bisexuals, trans and others in regard to sexual orientation and gender identity. About 70 countries still criminalize consensual same-sex relations, regrettably. And a number of countries also criminalize what we call cross-dressing, such as dressing in a, another gender different from the sex assigned at birth. Um, and this is also a serious matter affecting our friends from the trans community. Secondly, the need for more effective anti-discrimination measures, good laws as well as good practices on this front. Thirdly, the need to recognize gender identity, particularly gender identity uh, according to people's self-perceived uh, identity, which might be different from the sex assigned at birth. Fourthly, the question of stigma and the need to destigmatize, particularly in the medical field, precisely because people are still classified, sadly, as mentally ill or mental cases in many situations. Whereas I do not believe that these are mental cases, but uh, people as part of sexual orientation and gender diversity as a part of human biodiversity. Fifth, the need for more inclusive policies, particularly sociocultural um, actions uh, to include people in society, in religious uh, thinking, belief and coverage, in access to education, health, the political spectrum, freedom such as expression and assembly. And finally, sixth, the need for more empathy through education for all, to enable people to understand the diversity of humanity and the blessings that come with diversity in terms of our shared humanity. I look forward to your advocacy of these issues and actions to support our cause worldwide, and I wish you great success in your deliberations and your actions.